Good evening, my friends. You know, life is a lot like a high stakes game of poker. The cards you're dealt are something you can't control, but the way you play them, that's where the magic lies. It's a dance of chance and choice, where each step can lead to victory or defeat. Now sit back and let's embark on a journey through a world where every move we make is a gamble. And the house, well, it's the universe itself. Imagine, if you will, a scenic landscape that stretches under the boundless sky, painted with hues of uncertainty and dotted with decisions that bear the weight of probability. This is a place where choices hang in the balance like the scale of Lady Justice, each flanked by the invisible forces of chance and certainty. Here in this realm of contemplation, the mind becomes a gambler, calculating risks and pondering the probabilities of life's myriad outcomes. But what if I asked you, is our fate determined by providence or by the roll of dice? This question, deceptively simple in its structure, probes the depths of our universe's most profound mysteries. It is the ember of curiosity that has sparked countless debates and the search for understanding that has driven humanity to the edge of the mathematical unknown. Now let's delve deeper. Long before there were neon-lit casinos or algorithms deciding your newsfeed, a 17th-century mathematician by the name of Blaise Pascal was laying the groundwork for what we now know as probability theory. This was the calculus of chances, a means to quantify the likelihood of events from the mundane to the miraculous. It was about finding order in chaos, patterns in the random, a method to the madness that surrounds us. Pascal, a mind both rigorous and deeply spiritual, found himself at the crossroads of a gamble that's become quite famous, known as Pascal's Wager. He posed that believing in God was a bet worth making because the potential gain was eternal bliss while the potential loss was negligible. Whether you agree with his theological hypothesis or not, Pascal's approach framed our existence within the simplistic confines of a cosmic game of chance. Yet his ideas didn't exist in isolation. His contemporary, Pierre de Fermat, also navigated these waters, and together their correspondence laid the bedrock for theories that would revolutionize the way we perceive the world around us. It was a dance of intellect across parchment, a dialogue that sparked a revolution in thought and practice. History bears witness to the philosophical parallels at play. Consider the Renaissance, when scholars discovered ancient texts and reignited debates on predestination and free will. These discussions, entwined with the fabric of probability, changed the course of history, influencing decision-making from the personal to the political stage. Shift the lens to more recent times and behold the ethical quagmires we navigate through, the debates around artificial intelligence and predictive policing, where probability theory collides with personal liberties. In these arenas, the calculus of chances takes a seat alongside ethical considerations, examining the rightness or wrongness of actions and policies grounded in statistical likelihood. Now, let's meander through the halls of cultural expression, where literature and film frequently entertain the theme of destiny versus chance. Take Dostoevsky's The Gambler, where the feverish obsession with the roulette wheel becomes a metaphor for the human condition, an interplay between fate and free agency, all under the shadow of mathematical probabilities. Or look at modern cinema, and you might recall a scene from a movie where life's unpredictability and our attempts to master it through probability are laid bare, highlighting our perennial desire to conquer chance, to bend it to our will, or to make peace with its whims. As you ponder on these reflections, we find contemporary discussions and debates still hotly contending with the role of chance in our lives. Quantum physicists argue over the probabilistic nature of subatomic particles, economists model the uncertainties of markets, and philosophers debate the moral ramifications of risk in an inherently unpredictable world. So, what does this all mean for us today? In this era of big data and predictive analytics, probability theory is more than an abstract concept. 
It forms the backbone of decision-making processes that shape our societies and personal lives. It is the silent adjudicator of outcomes when humans and machines make choices that could alter the course of history. As we weave together these threads, from Pascal's theological bets to the algorithms dictating our digital destinies, we find ourselves confronting a powerful revelation. Chance and choice are the twin stars guiding the voyage of humanity's ship through the cosmic sea. The calculus of chances is not a cold set of equations, but a narrative deeply intertwined with our human story. I want to thank you all for joining me on this exploration of probability theory, where Pascal's legacy serves as a beacon, illuminating the expanse of human inquiry. Now I leave you with these questions. Where will you place your bets in the grand lottery of life? How will you navigate the terrains of uncertainty that lie ahead? And so, dear friends, I bid you a fond farewell. May your musings on chance and choice bring light to the unseen corners of your mind. May your steps be bold and your odds forever in your favor. Good night, and may you always embrace the serendipity of life's grand game.